Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. I'm nervous as hell right now. Uh, we're going to the day four. Is it four? I think it's four. Technically the third day of the trial. I think this is the last day we have in trial for this. I am so scared. I don't know what's going to happen, but surely we have to wrap this up. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> the prosecution is ready. Your Oh, Edgeworth, how are you doing today, darling? How's your lacy cravat? Good? It has many frills today. He's looking good. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Phoenix, why don't you wear one of those? No? I guess he would look a little silly. I hope the prosecution and the defense will be able to print decisive evidence. Well, we haven't done anything until now, so why start now? <laughs> Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. Yeah, I'd like to see your opening statement. Never mind. It's gonna be full of that today. I'm full of it today. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was, in fact, Studio 2. Right, that was the huge hullabaloo from the last one. Today, I will call on people present in Studio 2 trailer that day. Great, well, we know who that is for sure. A couple of people, actually. Is the Mafia here? Are we not going to talk about that? <laughs> because technically, I feel we could go to the police with that information. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. What? That was a bad pun and you should feel bad. Jeez. Phoenix, get with it, man. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Miss D. Vasquez to the stand. I knew they weren't gonna fucking beat around the bush. It's gonna be all her, isn't it? Like when he says people from Studio 2, what he really means is just her, isn't it? Because we already talked to the dude. Miss D. Vasquez is a producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. Girl, we know that. Oh, hey, hey, baby. How's your fingers? <laughs> Will the witness state her name and occupation? Uh, darling? You kind of have to. Oh. D. Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. Oh, oh. Oh, Edgeworth. She already given you the sass. Look at Edgeworth trying to trying to mock her her fingering. These two got a thing going on. Maybe they're having some kind of fingering battle. I dislike needless banter. No shit. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. Girl, I'll pontificate you. Girl. Edgeworth, you're right. Very well, Miss Vasquez. That would not happen in no real courtroom. Get me Judge Judy. Man, she would rake this lady over the coals. Oh, she would just get- oh man, she would ream her butt. Please give the court your testimony considering the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. Right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her pants down- what? Oh, Phoenix, you wish. First of all, I don't think she's wearing pants, to be fair. Pretty sure not. Oh, Phoenix, man, we are on the same level. <laughs> okay, fuck. We have to concentrate. The day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. Okay. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp. It ended at 4 o'clock. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. What did you do? Did you ride his back or something? Did he carry you in a rickshaw? That's racist. That's not what I meant. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Right. Sal and I ate Timon steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio One. That's all. What do you mean that's all? That is certainly not all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. Are you wearing pants? You were fatigued so you had Sal take you? <laughs> well, at least someone asked the question. Please tell me it's not what I think. The van. Hmm? You did it in the van? Never- that's disgusting. Now, I'm not thinking about that. No. Now surely she could get better than him. There is a van at Studio 2. There is, we saw it. Yep, there it is. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk, what with that monkey's head toppling over. Oh, we got the van! Wait, we're getting that now? Oh, dear. Oh, we're gonna need that then. So something's gonna come up with that fucking van then. I- I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. 
This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it. Girl, I got you. We got this. A woman, hang on to your fucking cigarette because this is happening. Holy shit. You're beautiful and all, but man, this is happening. Okay, I probably won't reread these. Let's, I'm gonna press everything. Like usual. Start off strong. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in the employee area? No. Uh, that was Kurt. <laughs> Are you always this terse? Yes. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that didn't get us anywhere. I have a feeling a lot of these aren't going to get us anywhere, but whatever. The meeting began at 12 o'clock sharp and ended at 4. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Uh. Really? Come on. Let's talk a bit more about that. What are you going to say? With your beautiful face. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. Oh, Edgeworth. The same could be said to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, shit! Savage! And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. Girl, you tell her. I like this woman. I mean, I know she's guilty, but I still like her. Oh, Edgeworth, you just got taken down a peg, which, to be fair, is probably good for you. Jeez. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. Okay. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Really? Oh, great. No- oh, okay. Maybe you could try remembering? No. <laughs> the meeting ended at four o'clock and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. Thank you, Edgeworth. You're- you're a bay. <laughs> I was fatigued so I had Sal take me- <laughs> That's so disgusting. I'll never stop laughing at that, holy crap. I am disgusting. Hold on! Do I have a chance? You had Sal take you? What is it? Oh, Phoenix! Oh, Phoenix is more innocent than I thought. I mean, I don't understand why. He's a- he's a really good-looking guy. Surely he gets all the ladies. No? It means what I just said. Oh, well, careful. There's children in the audience, I think. I had Sal take me in the studio to- <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I am sorry that I am 12 years old, but that is funny. Oh, oh right. You know Phoenix, you know, right? Like when a man and a woman get together and they eat a bucket of chicken and then the stuff, the magic happens. Phoenix, do you understand? All right, I'll explain it to you later. At 2.30, we took a 15 minute break to the meeting. Okay. And what were you doing during that time? Oh, Phoenix just want to know it all. Now, now his interest is peaked. <laughs> Don't hit your desk. Yeah, really. It irritates me. To be fair, that would irritate the shit out of me too if I was there. Hey, you, uh, she just said don't do that. Edgeworth, you're not a very good listener. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. Oh man, even Edgeworth is like bowing down to the cougar power. But they, they just can't help themselves but do what she says. Oh, I hope I grow up to be a woman like that. <laughs> Where dudes just do what I say. It was a 15 minute break. Right? Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Okay. Wait, didn't we hear something about this before? Like they didn't have time to eat or something? That was the first thing and then he agreed that he did eat something, so I guess this is follow-up to that? Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal? Uh, no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. Says who? But girl, you rule in this place. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. Wait, but wasn't there something weird with the plate? Hang on, I remember there- because we took this for a reason. Sleeping pills in a large- mm. But this is the other plate. This wasn't the plate that we saw. Hmm. Something's weird. Okay. If I had some evidence that proves she didn't eat that steak, I bet you that's what it is. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. Definitely, I just said that myself. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. It's gotta be the plate. I entered the trailer a little before noon. Can I go back? Like, how do- Can I not go back? I need to go back to her last statement. Hmm. 
Little, okay, what, what happens if we do this? Meeting began at 12 sharp, it ended at 4. Oh, here we go. It's rehearsal. I, obviously they're looking for something there, so I have to do something there. So don't pass it. Okay, T-bone steak on the table in front of the trailer. Wait, no, I didn't mean to press! Oh, for fuck's sake! I am sorry for my shortcomings. Okay, don't look at this. <laughs> we'll have to do that again. Why did I press the wrong button? What, please, Edgeworth, don't say anything. I'm almost there, buddy. <laughs> okay, right, 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 right. At least they let you do this like a million times because I'm an idiot. This is what we want. They want something here, so it's got to be the plate, right? Because what else do we have other than this, which could also be it? But I don't know if she's responsible. Oh, fuck it. Objection! Oh, thank God for that. Ha! Huh, as I thought. The problem is, is I haven't fully made the connection yet, but I know something's wrong here. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. Oh, I know what it is now! I know what it is! Because their plates were different, wasn't it, in the studio? We have the bones and stuff from the employee area, but then the plates in the other one were different. I think that's what it is. What's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate? This plate was on the table in the employee's room. That has to be what it was. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. And you know that cougar wouldn't leave no bones. <laughs> Get what I'm saying? Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Right, and their plates didn't have anything on it. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. I- oh my- oh my, what was that face? Holy shit! Did you guys see that? Miss Vasquez? Your Botox is coming out. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I mean, does that matter? Someone ate there. Is he kind of trying to insinuate that she's just lying about her testimony? I think I know how. I think I know how. You didn't eat the steak, obviously. You ate a boneless steak. You ate the bone, too! <laughs> she's just all about bones, if you get my vernacular. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. Oh, she did it to- Oh, because she needed an alibi for where she was during the 15 minutes. So she's like, yeah, I ate it. There's the plate right there. Is that what he's getting at? Holy shit. I, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Murdering someone? Girl, where you been? Isn't it obvious, your honor? Oh my god, she, she met the steel samurai and probably set them all up to do this stuff. Picking on Salmonella. Well, uh, that's probably also possible, but not today. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. I knew that girl didn't have no pants on, too. <laughs> Order. A are you saying? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak. She ran into the Steel Samurai, but it wasn't really him. We already know that. And then you did it. Oh, she did that too? Oh. <laughs> Just everybody had a turn that day. You killed him with your own hands. Dude. She did? She impaled him on the fence, didn't she? Is that what happened? It just popped into my mind. Mr. Wright. Isn't that a little presumptuous? I don't know. She had a ton of fucking mafia dudes when I went there. What kind of stunts are you trying to pull, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Girl, what you getting at? Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Fine. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. What's she gonna say now? Okay. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the samurai spear. Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. Well, not all of you, but I wasn't going to make that, that claim. Never mind. How could I possibly use that heavy spitter as a weapon? I don't think she did use it, to be fair. Is it like... Is it really the case where history repeats itself and she impaled him onto the... Onto the fence? That's the only other sharp object in the area. She didn't. She didn't use the spear. There's no way. She's right about that. I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. Huh. Do you see? 
Yes. However, that has no bearing on this case. Girl, meaning... The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? Girl, you gotta keep your Botox in. You need to go to a better place. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. So, girl, haven't you ever heard of planting shit, man? You need to watch some Judge Judy. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Let's think about this. Um, is there something on it that we can look at? Oh, the break in the shaft mended with duct tape. Is that what we want to use? The thing is, is I can't remember when they said that happened, but if it was broken beforehand, there's no way anyone could have used it for our murder weapon. Is this what we want? I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. Oh my god, I'm on a fucking roll. Holy shit. Edgeworth, get your pants ready, boy. Bend over. But that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning? Action scene run through. I fucking knew it. Oh my god, it's all coming together. Old bag still gotta take a pee. But someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape and her cracking magic. Fuck yeah. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? That's, that's right. It would have just broken all over again. He's right about that. Holy crap. Order, order. What you gonna slam about? Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Your butt. Ben, no? Man, we had a deal. You better take them pants off. <laughs> Think about what you- Silence. I'm the one testifying here and I will be heard. What do you gotta say? Oh, Edgeworth, she's taking the piss out of you, boy. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? I think it was the fence. How could it be that history repeated itself and she got him on that fence? Can I tell you? That has to be it. It has to be. I mean, what else do we have? Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Bitch, don't be talking shit about me. Very well, let's see the murder weapon then. Fuck, what is it? Is it the photo of it? Oh my god, it is, isn't it? You guys! Oh my god, this is like one of those moments when I wish you were all here sitting in the room with me so you could see me like bouncing up and down in my chair and like throwing things because I'm literally about to. Ah, man, I'm so glad you guys are here with me on this though. This has to be it. Look at this photo. Look at this graph. What is this? A dead man. Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Oh, bitch, you didn't think I was gonna pull this out, did you? But your Mafia dudes didn't take it from me, did they? If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. Holy crap! This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studio. What does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? My raging boner under the desk. Oh, stop. I should really be serious. See the fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? Wh what are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago just happened. <gasps> no sh That's why he had such a fucking pierce wound with no blood. Has happened again. Didn't I mention that before? Oh my god, girl. You sure can open your mouth wide. Holy shit, I'm assuming that's years of practice. Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Misty Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs into the fence. Just like Hammer had himself done five years ago. Holy shit. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh, girl, what you gonna do now? Uh, in other words, the, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way that he caused another man to die? He did. Five years ago. That's right. Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? What you gotta say about this? <laughs> Very creative, Mr. Wright. 
I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. Girl, I bet you could use a man like me. You deny what I say is true? What are you gonna say, Mr. Wright? Let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammond died at the trail, as you say. Yet, the body was found at Studio One. Was it- <gasps> I know how it got there! Oh my god, you guys, the van! That's why we got it in the evidence, isn't it? No one could have dragged it there, and the fucking monkey shit was in the way half the time. They used the fucking van. Oh. My. God. That's how it was. And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One? Well, I don't know how you fucking undressed him, but clearly you have skills in this manner. And return to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The van. The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? I believe he could. There wasn't enough time. Hmm. Indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? It has to fucking be the van! <sighs> My god, it has to be. She had another way. Because she couldn't move it herself, we know that. What if she had another way to carry the body other than with her own hands? For instance... The fucking van, bitch! Don't lie to me! Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. Oh, shit. I mean, she's, she could do it in maybe eight? Quickie, you know what I'm saying? No. And there was a way for you to carry that body. Mm-hmm. interesting Let's hear it, then. Mr. Wright, please show us how she carried the body. Why the fuck you lying? Why the fuck you lying? Oh my god, should I shout this? I'm so excited that I'm going to. How do I do this? Do I say take that? Is that what I do? I didn't do it. <laughs> I was too afraid. <laughs> I'll do it, I swear to god. I just didn't want to scream into the thing. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One. And you used the studio van to do it. Oh, there's that, there's that O face again, that blowjob face, right? Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. Did he know? Is he in on it too? You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put in the body into the magistrate costume. I mean, she probably is good at that. Hold on, right. Don't forget, it was Sal Manila that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manila was a conspirator? He was, wasn't he, though? He was probably under her finger as well, though. He's probably stuck under her just like everybody else, right? He was. He'd probably do- I mean, okay, think back to when Miss Oldbag said that, she, that he would do anything for her. He, he definitely was. Of course, Salmonella has had to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Oh my god. Also, don't forget, they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. That's why there was no blood on the other costume, of course. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? She all right. Oh, darling. No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. Huh. I lose. You win. It was fun. What? You can't be giving up that easy. What? No, something's gonna happen here. This- this can't be the end. That was too easy. What's happening? What- what? Are we taking a break? I guess not. Uh, so what happens next? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, hello? <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Um... I lost? Something like that? Well, I mean, she did say that already. I just said that. Phoenix, what do you want, man? Wait, so you mean... De Vasquez, so it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. Yo, even Edgeworth doesn't know what to say. It's beautiful, stoic expression. Nobody knows. Holy crap, what's happening? What? 
Who can say? What? You're gonna pull that shit on me now? Phoenix, don't let her do this. Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. Right? But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 How is it not decisive proof? Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Uh, oh my- Edgeworth doesn't even know what to do! Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but oh, there's no proof. What? Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, this would be the time to get her. Do we have anything we can get her on? I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Oh no, Phoenix, don't let her leave! No, 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 stop her. Ugh. No, 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 you did it. Testify again, no further. No, 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 okay. Testify again. We gotta just keep her here, right in the chair. That's the only way we're gonna win this, I think. Either you did it or testify again. If, if we say you did it, she'll just say the same thing. We can't have her leave, so it's gotta be this one. I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? No when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? I would have time to think about what I'm gonna do? Uh, you'd ask the same questions and get the same answers. A waste of time. No, 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 we've gotta keep this going. Come on, Phoenix, you can do it. You haven't failed. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Objection! What? Edgeworth, what are you doing? Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. Oh, Edgeworth is bae. Girl, you act all tough, but really, what is going on with you today? I see. Very well. Objection! Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. Why? You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making this first curse repeat itself. Why is he doing this? Edgeworth, are you bae? Or did you fall for me suddenly and you're doing this for me? Oh, baby, I hope so. Holy shit. I knew I'd get around to you. What exactly did you want to hear her testify about? <clears throat> well, yes. Um. What? Edgeworth, pull something out of your ass, please. Very I say, ergo. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. True, she didn't really say much about that. Hmm. Nick? Why did Edgeworth? I don't know. He probably realized she did it too. Is he that morally upstanding now? I thought he always got his verdict. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that? Edgeworth, what's going on with him? After finding the body. All right, well, let's see what this says. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Just like that, like it doesn't even bother you. It's weird. Hmm. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Well, except moral ones, I guess. Alright, here's our chance. Okay, Nick, we're real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need and twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. No, I'm doing it. Get ready to be twisted, woman. Alright, after finding the body. I was with sound old bag the security lady when we found the body. Do I need to press everything? Hmm. 
Let's just do it. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 o'clock for the rehearsal. So I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Manella arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Uh. Uh-oh. Wait, is there a reason we can do this? Hang on a minute, I want to hear the rest of it. Oh, okay, maybe we have to be careful here. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember. Remember? What? That there was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm? I guess not. Yeah, well, I exactly. She seemed calm enough. No, 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 no. I want to hear all- Can I- Can I go through this again? I hope so. I want to hear all of them before I decide to do this. Something tells me if I press her hard on the wrong thing, she's gonna get me. I've just got that feeling. I immediately called the police, then power showed up. I want to hear what you have to say about that. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. They were all in shock, I reckon. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry, I'm late. Then, silence. Dead silence. I see what you did there. Lol. What? No, they didn't like the pun. No one liked it, lady. You're not funny. Silent. Hey, hey, Nick. Why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. Like what? Security lady old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power saying he did it. Old bag the security lady. Why did the security lady think powers had done it? She said because she saw him going toward the studio. Well, we already know all that business. Right, steal samurai. No, 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 no. I, 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 hopefully I have another chance to, I hope I have another chance to do this. I might have fucked myself so bad. Asked to be left out of the proceedings. Right? You asked to be left out? Yes. It seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. You don't say. Oh my- this is- this is- uh, this is giving me anxiety! Holy shit, like, what if I don't have time to do this again? I hope I do. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. I see. They were nice enough to understand that, since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. That's still technically against the law, madam. There must have been a lot of writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone- Of course, that's exactly what happened. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direct- This is the part that bugs me right here! That she just nonchalantly went back without doing anything? The script in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. You really think with all this going on in a closed studio that they would have been stolen? What? No, I guess not. Is this the one I want to press harder on? Something's weird about this one. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Oh, shit, Phoenix! It, d is this right? It just seems strange. Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? That it was a murder, after all. Yeah, but you didn't know that before! Who could think of rehearsing after that? I guess. Hmm. Very well, Miss Vasquez, please continue. Attention! Wait, what? What's going on? Your Honor. I'm sorry I'm screaming so much, holy crap, this is crazy! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. You do? How could you even do that? Think. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have to have known about the murder before going to Studio One. That's what I said. How would she know beforehand? Oh, you just got fucking- You just got hoisted by your own fucking prosecutor, bitch! Holy shit! Girl, you ain't got nothing to say! Order, order! Mr. Edgeworth! What are you doing? What have you- what you've just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? 
Edgeworth, join my side, bro. We can do it together. Best buds in the butt. I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Oh, what's happened to him? Oh, Edgeworth, I love you so much. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Huh. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense? What kind of court is this? A very gay one, madam, and you're wrong to question it. No matter. I'd think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe that there would be no rehearsal. Like what? Hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. What is it? I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left him behind. What? What do you mean? Wait, what are you talking about? How did you know about the injury? How did I know? Sal? He told me. Sal the director? Wait a minute, something's wrong here. You have to find something to peg this on her here. Like what? Or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. I was with Sal and Old Bag. Oh shit, we have to go back. Sorry. It's that last part. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. <sighs> Shit, what do we have? Wait a minute. He's dragging one leg. <gasps> At two o'clock. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it right here. Holy shit, holy shit. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Holy fucking shit. Bitch, I just got you. Now what are you gonna do? Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Now why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Yeah, why? I, I already said it was Sal who told me. That's right. He must have gotten it wrong. I don't think so. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Oh shit! Why the fuck you lying? You heard Mr. Manella wrong. You saw him limping, didn't you? Oh shit! Yeah! Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. Nope. You saw him limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember... Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. Because he was pretending to be him. Right. Oh. And when was he doing this? Well... It would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. And went to Studio 2, where he was murdered. Exactly! Edgeworth on my side. This is the best day ever. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. She thought she was killing Will Powers. Didn't she? Oh my fucking god! I don't know if I'm on, I'm on track with that, but that's what I just thought. Witness. Can you refute this claim? <laughs> oh, is she, gonna, is she gonna blow up? Oh shit. Yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. What is it? You're not in a position to ask questions. Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Oh my god, but yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star- I think it's because you didn't actually think it was him. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Yeah, I can prove it. 
Absolutely. Okay. Maybe she didn't think it was Will after all. I I've got two situations in my head that could be possible. She either thought it was Will and tried to kill him, or it has to do with this. It has to be this. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm screaming. You guys ready? Take that! Take that. Yeah! That was fun. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. She's still on about that five years later? I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vesquez? <clears throat> five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With Dee Vesquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day, five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, Divesk, has used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Mm. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the ex-star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. And I never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. I bet you don't. Mr. Wright? Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. <sighs> oh, shit. I don't think she had a motive, though. That's my gut instinct, because we already had all the evidence that we could already present it, don't we? She had no motive. I don't think she did! Am I wrong? She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. <gasps> she was defending herself. Oh, I didn't see that! I didn't even think about that! Well, I was going down the wrong path entirely. Well, it makes sense now. He was coming after her, and he wanted to disguise himself as willpower so Will would take a fall. Holy shit! Holy shit! It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? Why didn't she just say that? Well, that would have saved us all the fucking trouble in the world, woman! Why didn't you want to pin it on him? Your Honor! Jackhammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jackhammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume to pin it on him, exactly. Jackhammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jackhammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Oh my fucking god. But why did she cover it up? Oh, girl, your, your cigarette. You broke it. Oh. Uh-oh. Why did she cover it up? Why is she mad about this? This kind of absolves her. In a way, if it was defense. What's wrong, darling? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. What happened? Was she in love with him? Someone call an ambulance. Th there's blood everywhere. We're too late. Oh, Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel, Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to calm down or something. <laughs> no, no! How could this. It was an accident. Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and. No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him! Miss Vasquez! No! Oh, this is sad. Please, please don't die. Please. Oh no. This poor woman. Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. But it was out of defense. It's all right, isn't it? Well, I'm still a bit confused. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's Dee Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, Your Honor. As calm as collected as ever. 
But why did... Why did she want him... Did she just want to... Oh, I know why. She wanted him around just to have revenge, right? It was probably the only thing keeping her sane at that point. She was kind of torturing him because of what he did to, I guess, a person she probably loved. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, you guys! This game is so good! Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I... Thank you, Your Honor. We couldn't have done it without Edgeworth's help. I think not, Your Honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Thanks, Edgeworth, thanks. Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Yeah! Ah, oh, Will, you big orange fuck. I'm so glad for you. Holy shit. That is all. The court is adjourned. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is so great. Yeah! Will, you all right, darling? Aw, oh, look at his smile. He's so cute. Uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think, they tried to frame me for the murder. Ah, oh, it makes me sad. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. Huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Do we have evidence for that? We must if it's there. Well, this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... What do we... I don't know. This... Maybe he wanted to take your place. Is that it? It was like this. It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and is the villain to boot. The kids love the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I, I would have changed places with him any time. Oh, what a good guy Will is. Aw. Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. This is so wonderful, though. Congratulations, WP. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and- Wait, does he not know it's being cancelled? Is, is something wrong? N no of course not. Ah, uh, Nick, Edgeworth. Oh, oh, what's wrong, Dar- Ooh, he's got that, he's got that, that face on, that, that serious face. I'm feeling what you're throwing down, Edgeworth, let's go. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. You really should thank him for helping you, Phoenix. What? Uh, um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? Uh, Phoenix, thank him! No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Oh, uh, uh, pleased to meet you, I'm Powers! Oh, uh, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Pat. You are? <laughs> Wait, he likes the Steel Samurai? What? Maybe he does. Right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Are we going to find out more about that later? Meet again? However, in retrospect, it would have been better if we had not met. Oh, Edgeworth, what? Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Oh, Edgeworth, I got the gay for you too. It's fine. Just embrace it. It's all right. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. Edgeworth! That's what I came here to tell you. Oh dear. Uh oh. He got mad. Oh, uh, Mr. Wright? Don't worry, I'll win his heart back. Is this guy your friend? It's my lover. Un <laughs> unrequited. <laughs> what? Friends? As if. They're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? Well, he did help, though. For now, we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? I'm telling you, it's unrequited love. Don't judge me. And so the curtain closes on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. 
Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. That's good. The Pink Princess, just like Sal said. Ah, Nick, this is it. The new show starts today. You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? He's playing the princess? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. Wait, is he really playing a princess? That's hilarious. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Aw, oh, he's fine. He's lovely. Oh my gosh, that was so great, you guys. This is so much fun. I hope you're enjoying it. In the next one, I guess we'll start whatever is next. Holy crap, I can't wait to start. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me, you guys. I am enjoying this so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.